Hello everyone, and welcome back to the series where I rate levels from Sonic Adventure 2. I already covered Sonic and Shadows levels, and I think it might be beneficial for you to check those videos out first, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Today I will be discussing a character that I think people either love or hate. I don't think there's no in-between. That character is Miles Prower, or commonly referred to as Tails the Fox, because Miles Prower would be a pain to say every single time. Tails was introduced back in Sonic 2 for the Sega Genesis. One of the key factors that most people know about him is that he is Sonic's best friend. Although Tails has been around for a long time, I think that Sonic Adventure 2 is one of his best games. Instead of just being the sidekick that follows Sonic around, and instead of being helpless and defenseless like he is in the newest games, he has a lot of character and he has a lot of his own personality in this game. Most of his growth in this game carries over from the original Sonic Adventure. He's put into a situation where he can only depend on himself because Sonic's not around to help him. In Adventure 2, you see how Tails becomes more of an ally while still being his friend than just being a magnet to Sonic. Of course, he's still written in a way that shows his loyalty to Sonic, but his character in this game is so much more focused on himself and what he can do without any help compared to what he is to Sonic. Tails' levels in this game introduce a whole new type of gameplay to the game with the whole mech robot thing that's going on. I know that for the rest of time, there are going to be arguments about whether or not the mech was a good idea, but I think it's extremely fitting for Tails, and I think it was a great idea. Alright, if you've watched the other two videos, you should know the drill by now. We're gonna go over the video layout. So, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be ranking all of Tails' levels from my least favorite to my favorite. I will not be including any bosses, and I will not be including anything from Cannon's Core. Lastly, again, Again, these are just my opinion. We don't have to share the same thoughts or feelings because the world will keep spinning anyway. I hope you enjoy the video and let's start out with my least favorite tail stage. Okay, so before I say anything negative, I'll start by saying that I love the soundtrack for this stage. The music, however, is the only bearable part of this stage. I don't know if it's just me, but the enemy assault in this level is just downright brutal. I feel like a good 90% of the time, you don't even have a second to prepare yourself before they attack you. Even if I spend this stage being as cautious as I possibly can, I have yet to beat this stage without getting hit. If you can somehow beat this level without getting hit, I applaud you. And I already know there's someone out there angrily typing about how easy this level is and how much of a scrub I am and all that fun stuff. But I think to at least 85% of people who played this game, this level has given us so much grief and we have all suffered. We will not forget what you've done to us, Eternal Engine. This one is weird to me. I wasn't originally going to do this one, but since it's the main part of the story, I figured that I would at least touch on it a little bit. I guess I always just kind of forget about this one. Even though it's a different type of level than the usual Tales levels, it just doesn't stick out in any way to me. Whose idea was this exactly? The kart racing thing just feels like a very, very strange feature to have added. I appreciate that they were trying to switch up the style of gameplay, and the stage is pretty harmless overall, but did they pour a bunch of oil on the roads? Why does it control like this?
This stage should absolutely not be as infuriating as it is. It's not eternal engine ridiculous, but sometimes, no matter how hard you try, you're just gonna get hit. Also, something with Tails' stages, if you spend the whole stage being cautious, the level just feels like it goes on for a million years. Looking at it aesthetically, the stage looks awesome to me. I always thought that the billboards with little criminal tails on them were extremely amusing. I always found it funny how this whole entire city was just looking to take down this 8 year old child. Tails' perspective in this stage, in my opinion, is very entertaining to play through. The music is very happy and it makes you feel like this level is going to be extremely easy, but once you realize that it's not extremely easy, the music is very patronizing. I don't hate this stage, but I think I would say that I hate this stage before I'd say I like this stage. Prison Lane is the introductory level for Tails. Although this level is extremely easy, I appreciate that they created it in a way that helps you get a handle on the new mech machine. I had mentioned that there were mixed opinions about the mech before, but despite the mixed feelings on the mech, in my opinion, Tails' levels feel more fulfilling to play because of the mech. I think that rapidly and mindlessly firing at enemies constantly is a lot of fun. It's kind of a shame I really don't have more to say about this stage because I really like it, but this game has a really good track record with introductory stages, and I think that this stage was a good way to introduce the new style of gameplay. So I know that there's a lot of people who really can't stand this stage, and I don't blame them. If you take your time in this stage, it's a cakewalk, but that is something that I definitely had to learn the hard way. If you turn around a corner slightly too fast, or you hover a fraction of a second too early, the sand will claim your soul. Here is a real life comment that I posted on a video for the stage's soundtrack a year ago. That being said, this is definitely my favorite Tail stage, without a doubt, too. Even if I wanted to hate this stage for all the trouble it's given me in the past, I think it would be impossible. It's one of the levels in this game with a more unique design, and the music, this is one of my favorite soundtracks in the whole entire game. I really miss the days where Tails was a playable character and he was more independent and his own person, well, his own fox, you know what I mean. Despite what many people have thought about Tails since day one or since Tails' jump to 3D, I think that the adventure rendition of Tails was definitely his best. I really, really hope that one day they continue to expand on Tails' character and they continue to make him well-rounded like he used to be. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you're enjoying the series so far if you've watched it all. If you haven't and you enjoyed this one, I would recommend watching the other ones, but like I said before, you don't have to. But um, I'm gonna sound extremely repetitive here and just say that I appreciate everybody who has supported me. It's something that really keeps me going, even though I don't upload a whole ton. I hope everybody is doing well, and I hope to see everybody in the next video and for the rest of the series. So thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time.